Hi mathematicians. In this video, we are going to learn how to actually um, how to model ratio problems with tape diagrams. Now tape diagrams are a very visual model. They help you to uh, see the length of certain objects. It also helps you to identify the relationship between the two, quant two or more quantities that you're talking about. So let's take a look at this. All right, it says Mario and Luigi. So I, I know this is about Mario and Luigi. Mario and Luigi ran laps to train for their race. Stop. After every sentence, stop and ask, what do I know about the problem? So it says Mario and Luigi ran laps. So I know that they ran laps. So, so far involved in this problem are Mario and Luigi's laps. Next, it says the ratio. In my mind, whenever I see the word ratio, I'm going back to what we've already learned about ratio. And if you haven't learned about ratios, please go to the video called The Meaning of Ratios. But a ratio is an ordered pair of non-negative numbers that are used to show the relationship between two quantities, and order is very important. So it's just a, an ordered pair of numbers. So the ratio of the number of laps Mario ran to the number of laps Luigi ran was 2 to 3. So the ratio of Mario's to Luigi's laps was 2 to 3. Off to the side, just so I can get that down, I'm going to write Mario to Luigi is 2 to 3. That's 2 units to 3 units. Next, it says draw. That's a direction. So I'm going to draw a tape diagram. What am I going to draw? A tape diagram to demonstrate your understanding. So I want to demonstrate my understanding of the given context. Now, given context is very important. You can't just make something up. You have to use the information that you've, that you've received from this situation. Another word for context is situation. So I'm going to make my tape diagram and I know that Mario's laps to Luigi's laps is two units to three units. So I'm going to draw that model now. I'm going to use an M to stand for Mario's laps but I'll also write laps below. And then I'll, I'll use an L to stand for Luigi and I'll write laps below that. Now it's important that whenever you're making your tape diagram that both of the tapes start at the same point. So just because I want to make sure they all start at the same point, I actually draw a vertical line going straight down. This way when my tape diagram starts, they're both starting at the same point. Alright, how many units am I going to draw for, for Mario? Well, the ratio was two units to three units, so I'm going to draw two units for Mario. One unit. Two units. And how many units am I going to draw for Luigi? I'm going to draw three units. So three units will go past the two units. There's where two units ends right there. And one more unit at the end. There we go. So drawing this tape diagram, I see that the ratio of Mario's units to Luigi's, Luigi's units is three two to three. Two units to three units. Two units to three units. Mario to Luigi. Two units to three units. All right. In this next one, I'm going to see if you can draw the tape diagram that's necessary for this next problem. Why don't you pause the video and try to draw a tape diagram for this model? All right. This problem right here. So it says Adonis spoke on the phone with Mr. Almeida for homework help for five minutes. So what did Adonis do? He spoke on the phone with Mr. Almeida for homework help for five minutes. So he spoke for five minutes. Takaja was speaking with her teacher. So Takaja was speaking with her teacher about homework for eight minutes. Eight minutes. 
So Adonis spoke for five minutes and Tekaija spoke for eight minutes. So Adonis to Tekaija's minutes are five, two, eight. In this case, I'm going to draw a tape diagram. And a tape diagram is another word for a bar model to demonstrate my understanding of the given context, of this context right here. Adonis's minutes to Takaja's minutes, five to eight. So I'll write A and then minutes below to Takaja's minutes. And Adonis will go for five units. They have to be equally sized. One, two, three, four, five. And then a Takaja will be for eight units. So that's five right there. Six, seven, eight. Just lining them up right below one another. That's three. That's four. Five, six, seven, eight. The ratio of Adonis's minutes to Takaja's minutes is five, one, two, three, four, five units, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight units. It's always important to check just to make sure that you've drawn exactly what the context is asking you to draw. I hope that this video helped you to understand how to draw ratios with a tape diagram.